Like, hi guys. So, I am going to start my workout journey. I have to switch, you know, take that, that off. I'm going to work today. So, anyway, I'm showing y'all my workout journey. This is my definition of my muscles still in my stomach. I still got that. Um, I got back fat that I'm going to lose. And, you know, I still got my booty. But I want to make it, like, firmer, higher, and harder. My booty is going to be hard. And you know, if you know me, you know my waist has always been small. That's still a plus. But I want this part of my stomach to be down more and I want my arms to go away. So I'm showing y'all the beginning of my new workout journey. You know, before I did it and I did my um what's it called? My um Kato. And I'm gonna curl my hair. I did my Kato. I know I'll be on her looking a hot mess, but I want y'all to see me coming from or a place of needing to heal to a place of healed. Because that's why it says we heal here. So I'm going to show y'all my daily looks. I'm not going to be on here all glammed up and that's not me daily. So sorry you guys to see this, but I want you guys to see a transformation. So anyway, so yeah, so this is me. This is me. This is my new little um, starting my workout. So I want you guys to see all the transformation from going to that place. You look on my videos now, you see the craziness. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I know people watch it. Subscribe, guys. Don't be a hater. Come on. Help me and my babies out. So anyway, like... I, I know like on all my videos, it's craziness. It's like daily craziness. And that's real life for me. And I want you guys to see that. Every day there was something insane that happened to me. It was never peace. And this happened, this has been happening for some years now. Like since 2017, I tried to, well, 2016, crazy stuff's been happening. 2017, I got away from it a little bit. I moved to Vegas. It was kind of fun in Vegas. I met some people. They were cool they were taking me to church i was getting jobs you know we was have i was able to sit outside my house with friends drink watch the kids play we were going to events it was kind of cool but then my car messed up and everything went to shits so i had to go back to the hood well that's the worst place to be for me for some people it's, it's a glorious place they like it they love it i didn't i didn't like it i didn't love it and um Every day, I would, like, lies were put on my name. And you know, so many times you have lies put on your name that you have to brush them off. Now it's time for me to brush them off. I want them lies off of me. And they say I was a bad mother. I'm not a bad mother so, at all. I love my babies to death. And if you don't see that or believe that, that's not my problem. I don't give a fuck to prove it to you. They know it. And that's how they matter. Also, um, like... I was staying in a place that I wasn't comfortable with. I wasn't comfortable. I wasn't happy mentally, physically, none of that. So you lose and you lose yourself. And this is me showing you guys we heal here and showing you guys how I'm transforming, how I'm healing, how I'm different. And I want you guys to see all of it. I want you to see the ugly, the bad, all the way into the good. And I know that every day there's always going to be something that you have to battle, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually. That's just life in general. Like right now we have the virus going around. Everyone's battling that, you know. My family is really battling because we had a loss. And not it, it had nothing to do with the virus. It was because he had congestive heart failure and he was battling that. He's been battling for so long. Um, okay, I think he just got tired, but anyway, still, you get what I'm saying? So it's just a lot that you will have to battle on a daily basis. Me, I wake up and I pray. I go to sleep and I pray. I pray all throughout the day and I've been doing this for years now and I, I got really heavy with it this year. Um, 2019, 2020, I, uh, 2020, yeah, I was going to say 22, but 2020, I got really heavy with praying and um, talking to God more than anything because of life situations. Well, anywho, I am going to start posting more positive and start showing you what I mean by we heal here. Um, I also have a Instagram page I have not been able to be on because my phones kept getting break, broke and stolen and I kept getting locked out of my account. Well, that's over, so I'm stable now. 
from God. Praise the glory. If you can see on my other one, it says new blessings. I finally have a new place for me and my kids, as well as a new job. And um, I already had a job. I told you before I got fired due to other people telling lies on me. Like, I've had, she stinks. She's a liar. She's evil. She steals. Um, she hurts kids. Uh, she likes young dudes, um, she's not a wife. I had so much put on my name to, oh, I, I was even girl, I'm not even going to mention what I also was, but I also was supposed to be against the military when I'm from Oklahoma and, you know, we have two bases, but, uh, three actually. I don't know where it came from, but it came there, okay? So anyway, I am just like over it. I am in a good place and mentally, and now it's time to get me physically and more spiritually in a good place. Now I'm able to, like, I go on life online church, but whenever churches open back up, I will be there. Trust me, I will be there. And um, when it comes to my job settings, I'm just going to literally mind my business. Like, I said, but one thing I'm not going to do in another place, I went in there kind of like... Um, quiet to myself and they thought I was mean or had a problem which is not the truth the case but they were wanting me to tell them all my business and give to them and I'm not the type of person that's going to give you something that belongs to my kids anything I have belongs to my children anything of mine is not mine it's my kids it's all the way down from my drawers okay if I have something I look at it as this is because of Zyla and Zion this is because I'm doing this for Zyla and Zion and you can't have that because that belongs to Zyla and Zion even me, my mind, my my body, my spirit, everything belongs to Zion Zion. So before I didn't think like that, but now that's how I think. I think everything belongs to my kids. So I can't give something to you that belongs to them because then it takes away from them. And so I don't think that this type of place is like that. I think these people are generally professional because when I went off in there, it smelled so good. It was so, it was more of a positive. You know, you always will have some dumb people on some dumb shit. You always gonna have some dumb people on some fucking dumb shit, period. That's just life. Life is you will have some dumb people on some dumb shit. Everything you have to deal with, that's just life. And the thing about it is that how are you gonna respond? The other thing is, I let situations that occur, occurred with my family and then the job affect my mental. And then when I actually spoke up for myself, I spoke up to the wrong people. My administrator wasn't there and the DON was full of shit. In this place, the administrator is the one that hired me. She seems really nice and about her business. And the HR seems about her business. The, the employees seem about their business. They're the ones that told me they were hiring me to go in for the application. So, because it wasn't nothing like, I didn't see this online or anything. I just walked in. And so, anyway. So, yeah. So, I'm kind of, like, excited about this new experience. And I know I keep talking about it, but I'm excited because, you know, I like the pay. I like the people. And I'm going to try my best to make it a positive one. And also, I believe in horoscopes. So, I'm a sage, horoscope reading that, girl. Bible reading, all of that. That's just me. Anyway, so my my um, horoscope told me that this is going to be a very positive experience. Um, it's I'm going to be successful at this experience. Also, I've been thinking about a house. I want to own a home for my kids because I want them to always have something to come home to. Like that's one thing that traumatizes me is that I don't have a home to come home to that I feel. And I think when kids are know that they can no matter what happens in life they can go home. They are more se secure about their indoors in life, you know, their quest, their schooling, all of that, because they know if it don't work out, it's not going to be a big, it's not, it's not going to traumatize them. So they're not stressing, having anxiety over it. They're comfortable. They're living, they're enjoying the experience. I think that's a very important for children. But anyway, so that's, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working on doing that. I asked my ex to help with that. I don't know if he will. But if he don't or if he do, I can do it by myself, whether it be today or years from now. By the time the done, they will have it. And that's just that. That is just that. I um, also, when it comes to like relationship wise, nope, I'm not in a relationship. Do I want one? No, I don't. Not at this moment because I'm not at my best. And I feel like I don't ever want to be around someone when I'm not at my best because they ex accept 
they expect you to always be at your worst and that's how they look at you and I don't want that I want them to see me as me and I am one I'm, I'm not to be a narcissist or anything like that because I hate narcissists because I have many many flaws you can see them on the timeline but anyway um I just want them to accept me and um, understand that I don't need them. If, if anything ever happens with us, it's because I wanted them, not because it was a need. Because when people think you need, they need you or you need them, they treat you different. And that's never, I never want to be put in that situation. At this point, I made it to the point where me and my kids don't need anyone. We don't need you. We just, if we have you around, it's because we wanted you around. And that's what I want people to see for me because I don't, because I've also been cast out as a user, a gold digger, all of those things. And I, it's, if people can see, I've never been any of those things. I'm pretty much a really good helper. I am really into taking care of other people. And back in the day, I used to give everything I had to other people and not into my own home, but I don't do those things anymore. And I think people are like, Ew, where's Bianca? This is Bianca. Bianca's not a little girl anymore. She's a grown ass woman period. I don't look into friendships for partying and kicking it. That's not the type of friendships I look into. I do want people that are fun that I can call over and have a drink and shit with me and um, watch kids play because that's the type of shit I like. Because I do like to drink. I like my daiquiris um, that I make myself. Um, I like to make tacos and shit for people to come over and eat. Like I'm just asking me. I like to just to have little friends. I'm not a big cooker. But I can. And I just like people to come sit and enjoy that with me. Also, um, but I more want, I said this on my other video, I more want spiritual people in my life. I want like uplifting, good people, friendly. Um, that's not focused on my goals, but their own goals. That's not in competition with me. That doesn't go out and try to make their body look like how my body looks. My body is natural. So even when I'm fat I'm go and I lose my weight, I go back to my natural body. I don't want friends that was so jealous of me that as soon as I'm not around, they turn my name down and then they go try to make their bodies and stuff to be like mine. I don't want that. I want people who will pray for me if I'm in the wrong, tell me I'm in the wrong, but still be by my side through that wrong. You know what I'm saying? I want people that are patient with me because I've been through some traumatic things. So I want people that are patient, that understand that you have to be patient with me at this time because I'm trying to heal myself. Um, I want people that will go to church with me. I want people that will allow our, our kids to hang around and be friends. So, you get what I'm saying? I want people that my, I can have as a friend that my kids can grow up with their kids. That's the type of relationships and friendships I want. And those are the ones I'm going to, the only ones I want around me. So, when people think I'm alone or I'm lonely or um, all that stuff, I'm not. At this moment, I'm okay with where I'm at. I'm okay with what's going on with me because I feel like at this moment I need it. I need to rebuild my character. And um, being alone all the time is build a lot of fucking character because I'm strong as shit. And I know I'm strong as shit. And I, so I appreciate that little absence of people. That little, I don't like what happened because I don't feel like no one deserves that. But um, I believe that. It built, it built a lot of character, and I'm okay with moving on. I don't care to talk about it. I don't care to be around people with it. I'm, I'm okay with moving on. I'm okay with moving on or whatever. No, I don't want a man. Um, not at this moment. I need to be alone. I need to focus on myself, you know. People be saying stuff like, um, uh, well, we all, we married. We this. Well, good for you. Good for you. Okay. That don't have nothing to do with me. Good for you. So, good for you. Anyway, I'm focused on uh, getting my shit together. I ain't focused on my niggas. That's just not where I'm at right now. So, anyway, I'm getting um, breakfast for my son. He been woke, but he just don't want to eat breakfast. My daughter, she just woke up and she'll come and want to eat cereal. Me, I kind of want to eat some oatmeal. In a banana, like I told y'all, I'm working on myself. And if I don't eat an oatmeal banana, then I'm going to eat some Rice Krispie Treats or snacks. I know, I'm supposed to eat healthy. Anyway, I showed you guys earlier, the other day, this. So today I'm going to cook something before we leave. And I think I'm going to cook uh, with these right here. I'm going to cook with this. Because I don't want to eat at work. I don't like eating at work. I like to eat before work. I also like work as a form of exercise. 
it's my exercise for me. So, because you do a lot of walking, you do a lot of moving, you do a lot of those things. So, I use it as a form of exercise. So, yeah. So, oh, you know what? I didn't have a breakfast burrito because, um, I got my sauces, my taco sauce. Where's my breakfast burritos? They are bomb to me. Let me put this in here with my soda and stuff. I have everything you need, the eggs, all of that. So, I'm gonna cut this up. Anyway, so yeah. I gotta do some more grocery shopping. Anyway, so I took this out. That's what I'm eating today. That's what we're going to eat. I'm going to cook it up and eat something with it. Or if I don't eat it, my kids going to eat it. That's a show. I might eat, just eat some cucumbers. But, yeah. So, anyway. Um, oh, yeah. I got some lots of water. Because I have not been drinking water, which is not good. But I have not been drinking any water whatsoever. Also, guys, um, I take these little JJ pills and things like that. And so... Another thing that was said about me is that I was a crackhead. That's another thing that was said about me. Oh, she do drugs. I ain't never did a fuck. I don't even smoke weed. Mm -mm. That don't be drugs, honey. That be, um, right now, I take my fish oil pills, all my vitamins, because of what's going on. Your body got to stay strong. I work in the medical field, so my body got to stay strong. So I take those as well as my, um, they call the JJ pills for the green smoothie diet thingy. So I take those. If you guys know about those, try them out. This um, girl also that I met at work yesterday told me about the Herbalife place here where you can go get um, Herbalife and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse my little cough. I just took my Mucinex. It feels like it's stuck right here. I can feel it going down now. But anyway, I took my Mucinex because I just gotta make sure I ain't, full, I ain't, I ain't got a lot of uh, full fluids and stuff. So yeah, so I take my Mucinex. Oh, whatever. Um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up. I gotta do homework, do some homework. My grades is lacking like crazy. My grades is falling because all this moving and trying to get stable and my grades suck right now, y'all. They suck, which is not good because I'm going to graduate. You hear me? I am going to. It's not freaking good whatsoever. Oh, I got a call. I got a call about, girl, my bank cards. Been, ugh, people been playing on bank. So my bank cards, everything. They tried to steal some money from me. Like $1,200. I had to fight to get it back. Now it's a call right now and see what's going on with it. But yes, it's just, it's been a lot. I've been dealing with a lot, guys. A lot. But now I feel so happy because even though I'm stuck on quarantine, I can get shit together. I feel like, guys, are we on quarantine? Let's get this work, our weight together. Let's get our mind together. Let's try to get our money together. Stuff like that. And yes, I'm talking to my thing and barely people watch it. But I'm continuing to do what I'm supposed to do, which is build myself. I'm going to continue to make my videos because, you know, eventually people going to start watching it. They watch it, but eventually they're going to start um, <laughs> subscribing. This one girl said it took her six years. I'm too old. I thought it was like six years. <laughs> Trying to curl my hair, but no my food. Anyway, so that's it, guys. That's just my little update. I know y'all guys see all of my um my crazy videos and things like that. 
Well, hold on, guys. <clears throat> I'm back. Well, anyway, it's starting to look up. Things are starting to be different. So you're going to see more positive videos compared to all the crazy that you've seen before. No more of that. No more of that, like, rules me type of... Hold on, guys. Cause... <laughs> hey, guys, the mucinex is stuck. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to die. The mucinex is stuck, guys. It is stuck. So, anyway. So, anyway. So, yeah, guys. You're about to start seeing more positive, more stuff like that. You get to see more of myself. I'm really a goofy, very outgoing type of person. And y'all, I don't feel like I've been able to be that person in the past couple years. I have been um, more of a dealing with, like trying to survive, dealing with crazy and trying to survive type of shit. But other than that, you know, I, I feel like it's time for you guys to get to see who I am, my personality. Like I said, I show y'all the bad, the ugly. Like when I be walking here looking a hot fucking mess, I, I post it. I post my videos of me looking a mess. So y'all can see, y'all can see the transformation of me healing. Because me, normally, I, I'm all about my weight. And working out and trying to get myself together. That's normally how I am. And for the past couple of years, I haven't really been like that. I haven't really got to focus on myself. It's just been more been about like trying to survive and trying to knock off all this shit that's been on my name. It's been like crazy shit on my name. And I'll be like, wow, who sits around and thinks like this? Like, who? <laughs> Who sits around like, we got to say this and we got to say that. I don't, I, that's just, I mean, you got a lot of time on your hands. But it is what it is. It ain't really working because I'm still getting people to give me jobs. I'm still able to get places, you know. Um, so, I mean, it's time to just let it go. <laughs> because it's not working. Because when they meet me, they see I'm really not what you think I am. I'm just really not. I'm actually a pretty cool, cool person. Pretty cool, cool person. This fucking hair, though, man. What am I talking about? My hair. Anyway, so. So, but yeah. So. That's just all I have to say for today. I really don't know what to say. I've been trying to watch more videos of other women that's kind of been put in situations like me and see how they're doing it or whatever. Um, I was doing my videos heavy and um, someone paid a couple of girls to try to like block me out or make it where people won't watch my, um, my thing. So I stopped, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I stopped because my clothes just kind of hurt. Like, why? What did I do? But yeah, now I'm like, fuck you, you know. Can talk, let me get in here, girl. I'm on my live. But anyways, Ali, you want some cereal? You want to make it for you? Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, but yeah. So people was pay getting paid to block me off of here to like run me off like the girls they would this to me it's a couple of them like Liv um Christy like all of them I was reaching out to them and stuff and they're kind of like being kind of mean um I thought Kara the life of Kara I thought she would understand because she's also a military wife and an ex-military wife and she went kind of through what I went through we was in the same place <clears throat> so I thought that she would be a little more understanding but she wasn't so it's just, yeah. So it's just been like, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, anyway. 
Anyway. Anyway. Oh, I need to get my hair. Just, just act right. Anyway, so I didn't even get my hair to act right. But anyway, so I'm going to let him sit a little, get a little hotter and then go do it. Anyway, but yeah, that's that's kind of my spill. So I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit. You've seen what my way is going to be like right now. And you see, you're going to see every day of the transformation. I'm going to post videos every single day. I can't post any of my job or anything like that. Like, it's illegal. But <laughs> I will, like, um, start. If they let me, I'll show, like, a little bit. You know, but I doubt it. But anyway, so, um when my house is together more because all my furniture is still in uh, Fort Hood, Texas and on Fort Hood, Texas base, military base. And no one is, um, I still haven't got my furniture yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to rebuy, I guess, all my furniture, which is fine. But yeah, so I'm going to have to rebuy a lot of shit. I've already rebought my kids' beds because, you know, I didn't want them not to have their beds. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to rebuy everything and it's okay. It's okay, because I prayed about it, and God said, go, it's okay. So, it's okay. Anyway, so I'm going to finish their breakfast. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. I will start back my intro and all that stuff. Give me time, guys. I'm telling you, I'm just now getting where I'm at. I'm just now starting, like, getting to even be able to post these videos again. I am going to start posting and telling people to please go follow. So, if you're watching or anything, please go follow my video or whatever. I am going to start trying to get more promotion towards it. Um... And things like that um so yeah just stay tuned i will uh record my workout today and it's kind of cold so i don't know if i want to go out there but i will record my workout today i will record portions of the stuff that i do take pictures and stuff of the stuff that i'm eating and things like that have a beautiful blessed one guys oh jj pills jj pills smoothie shakes from like the little herbal life place I have to rebuy me a blender, but that's fine. So this is me now, guys. This is me now. So wait till I get to my workout. Have a blessed one.